Hey my name is Shanti Sherelle. I'm coming at you guys today with a video on centerpieces. On some centerpieces that I, along with my mother, made for my wedding. And I'm actually getting married January 28, 2017 um, to a man that I actually, I love. Um, and our colors are actually turquoise, purple, and gold. So let me show you what, what I actually created. And some of it, just to, to let you know, I researched Pinterest on ideas and colors of purple and blue and how it would actually go together and look together and, you know, ideas and things that I could actually do for my wedding and for my reception. <laughs> and Pinterest is filled with all types of um, wedding ideas and things that you could do. Also, wedding colors. I mean, they have a lot. If you're looking for or if you need ideas to plan your wedding and you're just starting off, Pinterest is the way to go or where you should actually go. Now, I did look at YouTube a whole lot and I saw that there were a lot of people or there, there are a lot of people that actually go to the Dollar Tree. And they have purchased different types of glass from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I can't tell you the last time that I've been to the Dollar Tree <laughs> until I started purchasing things for my wedding. Um, but when I saw those, I was, you know, the ideas, and I started coming up with my own ideas. I was like, you know, that that's a good idea. And, you know, I'm on a budget. I have three kids, <laughs> so I am on a budget. I'm not trying to spend thousands and thousands over, you know, and thousands of dollars on a wedding, you know. Um, we just kind of feel like that's something that we could always go back. You know, we could always renew our vows and make it even better. Even though, you know, I'm striving, me and him, we're striving to make our wedding, you know, great. And it's actually going to be great. But something that I, I did, I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased, they have these glass bowls for a dollar. So I got those. So this is one of the centerpieces that me and my mom made and a big thanks to my mom because she was a big help when it came to these centerpieces especially with ideas so we actually have these are the like tea candles that the dollar tree actually sells i should have had some i'm sorry but they sell them in like um two packs there's two in a pack for a dollar so we got those and we actually turned them flipped them over and glued it together and we glued it using like you can use um e6000 or you could also use gorilla glue and it's the kind that's like the gorilla proxy glue it's the kind that actually comes out when it dries it dries clear so you can use this e6000 it dries clear or i don't have it i'm sorry the gorilla glue is like um it also glues clear. So this is one of the centerpieces. I'm going to mix it up at the tables. It's a small wedding that I'm having. Um, no more than a total of 50 people will actually be there. So that's one style. Another style is actually this. And you'll find these at the Dollar Tree. Like if you look closely to under my hand, this is a candle. This is a candle holder, which you put like a candlestick in. And I have one, two, three of those. And then I have one of the um I have one of the other the candles, like the tea candle holders glued to this. And then I have it glued to the bowl. So this is another portion that goes on the centerpiece. It's gonna be like three to a table. So for like that one, it'll be this. And then it'll be this one. This is two. As you can tell. And this is three. Sorry, I can't show them all. You can kind of see them. It's three. So it'll be like three at a table. And then what I'm going to do is just stuff them, like put a, a ball and then put the flowers, insert the flowers on top of it. So another one that I also have is this one. 
And this came from the Dollar Tree as well. Now these are just like the little beads that we took and glued those. And we actually used like a glue gun to glue it to the glass. As you can tell, turquoise blue is close to it. <laughs> and we have the candlestick holder, the two in a pack of the candles, candle holders, another candlestick holder, and then the bowl on top. These are the smaller bowls that are at the Dollar Tree. Now when you do it, you got to make sure that you take all the stickers off and that you clean them off real good. But these are just examples of centerpieces that I'm using for my wedding that I just wanted to show you guys. So that would be at our table to be a little bit different. And I have two of these to go on the side of the big one. This is just one candlestick holder. Another round candle holder has some little beads on the inside and the beads that we glued to it. All from the Dollar Tree, you guys. And I saved a ton of money because the centerpieces, they do get very expensive for weddings. And like I said, I'm a budget bride, so we're trying to save as much money as possible <laughs> because we do want a nice honeymoon as well. You know, who doesn't want a honeymoon? <laughs> but um, the last one is a little bit different. And these are the candle sticks. So you can look at them and see. Candlestick. <laughs> and it's like two, four, six. It's like one, two, three, four packs of the dollar um, candle holders with the dollar bowl. And inside the bowl, basically what I'm going to do is put flowers. And I've seen a lot of flowers from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to show you later what it all looks like as a complete centerpiece. But I just wanted to give you guys some ideas. Especially if you want a little bling. And if you want it to look elegant without spending the money. Thank you guys for watching. Um, always subscribe to my channel and you never know what I may come up with next. Um, I will continue uploading things about my wedding up until my wedding date. Thank you. Bye.